Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello. Good afternoon and welcome, welcome to Toulouse for this uh, PCR uh, webinar series. Can we have the slides up there, please, gentlemen? So we're here at the Clinic Pasteur in Toulouse. Uh, my name is Jim Nolan. My colleague here is Raphael Philippart. And the two operators in the cath lab today are Jean Fagide and Bruno Farrar. Um, I just want to take the opportunity here to remind you that this webinar today is part of a series. There are three uh, separate webinars. The second one will be related to the management of a high bleeding risk patients with a bifurcation lesion. And the third session will be management of high bleeding risk patients with a focus on MAST ADAPT. And you will receive information relating to these in due course. The objectives today are to discuss how complex angioplasty can be safely performed through radial access in patients who are at high risk of bleeding and to review tips and tricks for successful radial procedures in these often complex and demanding patients. I just want to start by reviewing some issues around um, the question of bleeding after angioplasty. Bleeding events in highly selected populations who have been enrolled in most of the randomized trials is relatively infrequent in the range of 1% to 3%, often below 1%. But it is more frequent in the randomized trials that have reported recently, which have recruited specific high bleeding risk patients. And I refer there specifically to the Leaders Free, to the Zeus and the Senior trials. And in these trials, bleeding is uh, occurring in the range of 3 to 10% per annum. Leaders Free particularly has the highest rate of bleeding, and it does have um, uh, patients who have a constellation of bleeding risk uh, factors. Now, there are multiple previous definitions of high bleeding risk, multiple scores, but these, these have recently been pulled together by the ARC definition of high bleeding risk, which, which defines high bleeding risk as a risk of a bark 3 to 5 bleeding, so a major bleeding event, greater than 4%, or the risk of an intracranial hemorrhage greater than 1% at 12 months. Patients are defined as having this high bleeding risk uh, by the presence of one major or two main minor criteria, which we'll discuss briefly before we go to the cath lab. Around 20% of angioplasty patients will meet this definition for high bleeding risk. So it is a common problem that faces us every week in our cath labs all around the world. This is the reference I refer to, defining high bleeding risk in patients undergoing PCI, published this year in circulation, and I recommend that you uh, read this if you haven't seen it yet. Factors that are associated with a high bleeding risk are outlined on this uh, visual graphic. An age, age is a factor, so age greater than 75 years is a minor criteria for high bleeding risk. Major comorbidities affecting the kidneys, the liver, or an active um, cancer are all major drivers uh, uh, of high bleeding risk. In, in terms of renal disease, um, a creatinine clearance of less than 30 defines a major criteria for bleeding. Liver disease, it's um, cirrhosis with varices, and active cancer excluding non-melanoma skin cancers. Anemia with a hemoglobin of less than 11 is important. A platelet count of less than 100 is an important driver of a high bleeding risk. Having an intracranial event in the last six months in the, terms, in the form of an ischemic stroke or a, a major intracranial hemorrhage is a major driver for bleeding. Having a known bleeding problem, a coagulation disorder. Having had a bleeding event in the last six months needing a transfusion. And then finally, long-term requirement for oral anticoagulant treatment or the need for chronic non-steroidal or steroid therapy or a requirement for planned surgery in the next six months after the PCI procedure are all major drivers for bleeding risks. One of the problems with defining patients as having high bleeding risks is that one third of patients in this analysis recently published from our group are using a large UK database is that high bleeding risk factors often coincide with high ischemic risk factors. And so the very patients that we need to treat with cardiac catheterization procedures and intensive antithrombotic therapy are the patients who are most also at most uh, risk of bleeding. And so those two factors play off against each other. These patients have a high risk of adverse events and they often have a low rate of intervention on optimal medical therapy. So I'm just going to briefly present the details of the patient who's going to be treated today. 
The patient is a, a female of 80 years of age, and so she meets the criteria for increased bleeding risk as, as, as she is over 75 years of age. She has an active lifestyle, normal cognitive function, a height of 170 centimeters, weight of 77 kilograms, so a BMI of 26. She has a prior history of coronary disease with right coronary stenting in 1999, so quite a long time ago for her first coronary intervention, and a conventional set of risk factors of hyperlipidemia and hypertension. She has symptoms of uh, spontaneous angina despite medical therapy, NYHA grade 2. ECG is unremarkable apart from the presence of first degree heart block and some partial right bundle branch block, normal T waves. These are her blood results. I'm not going to go through them in detail, but there is no adverse factors in any of the blood results. You can see that the GFR is well in the normal range. Hemoglobin and platelet count are normal. Troponin is also normal. Her angiography was performed uh, some weeks ago, and there was an initial finding of disease in the right coronary artery, the circumflex, and the LAD. The right coronary artery lesion you can see circled on the left picture there, and that's been treated with a single drug allutin stent, achieving a good angiographic result. And she's come back to the catheter lab today for a stage procedure to deal with the disease in the LAD and the circumflex. Now, can I ask you to comment, Raphael, on uh, yeah. the angiogram here of the left system? You have a diffuse lesion in the LAD with quite tortuous and calcified lesion and uh, uh, you have a bifurcation uh, on a diagonal with where you have a lesion quite uh, deep uh, just before the bifurcation the tortuosity i don't know if we will uh, treat uh, treat it and on the next uh, you can see the circ yeah you have the, always the, the lad lesion what do you think of the ostium long. of the diagonal there the osseum of the diagonal is quite, uh, quite good. Uh, yeah. Do you think? Uh, so although it's a bifurcation lesion, yeah. you maybe will get away without having to treat that. There is some additional no. diseases yeah. further downstream in the diagonal. Would you treat that? No, no, no. Me, for myself, I, 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 don't, I will only treat uh, the LAD. Yeah. But uh, we will see what they uh, yeah. want to choose. So the, the issues lesion. in the LAD there are quite a lot of tortuosity, some possible Very, calcification, yeah, the presence of a bifurcation. Lesion. Although it, the, 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 you may, would you use two wires there or a single wire? Well, maybe two wires because it's it's a very long. Uh, it's a quite good the diagonal. Yeah, it's and a lot. I don't want to lose it. Oh yeah, it's a large diagonal. And your pick, choice? Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I have to admit, I'd use I'd do that with a single wire because I think the chance of the diagonal going down yeah, is very true. low. It's true. But you uh, know, you don't you, have any lesion, but. Uh, be careful to to yeah. the that the, the predilation of your yeah. LAD lesion don't uh, switch the the carrying. Yeah, you, you can't be criticised for wiring the diagonal. Mm. Many people would do it, but mm. uh, um, so can we go on to the next slide, please? Yeah. The, yeah. And on a circ, it's quite difficult to see, but you, you we have a, a very diffuse lesion on the bifurcation right now on the circ and the, and the OM. And uh, it's you have a quite a, 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 like a, an an aneurysm just uh, after the lesion on the cirque uh, and up to the lesion too. Yeah. Yeah. So one it's of the very big, torturous and yeah. calcified lesion. One of the big difficulties there is uh, is demonstrating that angiographically, isn't it? Is yeah. is opening it out so that you, you know you have to be able to see what you're doing in order to treat it and get a good result. So you know I agree with you that there is aneurysmal dilatation of the proximal circumflex. The circumflex is always the most difficult artery to mm -hmm. work in because it it doesn't just run down; it runs away from you at the same time, and there's more conformational change in that vessel, and so the force vectors of advancing equipment down the circumflex are less favourable than they are down the LAD or often the right coronary artery. So I think the, the circumflex is quite a challenging lesion to deal with. Yeah. The, the OM, as you say, is a large vessel. Um, I don't think that one will prove to be particularly easy. So um, we, we, we just tried to set the scene for you to talk a little bit about bleeding risk and some of the challenges of the case. So we're going to go over to the cath lab now to uh, Jean and Bruno. Guys, 
Hello. Hello. So thank you, Jim, and thank you, uh, Raphael, for this nice introduction. Maybe we can uh, uh, move now to the next slide just to summarize the case and uh, what will be our, uh, our strategy and key issue. May I have the next slide? So we have to deal with in, in, in this uh, octogenarian uh, uh, female with a three-vessel uh, complex disease. Uh, we have already treated... To start with the most complex lesion, that is the left circumflex marginal lesion, John, and if you agree, and to start with this one, and then after moving to the LAD uh, lesion. So about the setup of this uh, paper of this uh, patient, can you yeah. show the? Okay, so we can show you the table now, and uh, so we have uh, already uh, a place. Uh, she's uh, she's six French. Uh, she's glide uh, she's slender. It's a glide she's slender. On the right uh, radial uh, artery, uh, this woman has a nice uh, radial artery. Uh, here we have a, a sick French uh, XB 3.5 uh, guiding catheter, and uh, uh, here we have already uh, performed some views. Maybe we could see the 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 angio, the views. Uh, here we have uh, uh, the AP view with a caudal view, AP caudal. And you see that uh, you have a caudal 31, and we need quite a, uh, uh, yeah, a more than 30 degree uh, caudal uh, view in order to see the bifurcation of the circumflex and the OM. So I will show you in this view. Uh, here you could see the 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 first the, the circumflex artery. Circumflex artery, the proximal cirque, uh, have some, uh, you know, like an aneurysm uh, proximal to the bifurcation. And this is the first uh, the point. In other words, we have around a 3 millimeter vessel, followed by a 3.5 enlargement of the, the vessel. And then, distal to this uh, uh, pseudo aneurysm uh, uh, shape, we have the bifurcation OM1, OM2, uh, with a long lesion on the OM1, uh, which was really long, uh, and tortuous. You could see here the, the tortuosity of the, the vessel, and we could anticipate that we would be some concern with the tractability uh, of the device. Uh, and it's true that in this particular patient, we will have to predilate. And second, uh, we have on the other view, uh, the, here we can see again the, the distality, the, the, the bifurcation of LCX OM. Uh, the second OM is a very large vessel, more than 2.5, around 3 millimeter vessel. Uh, 2 5, yeah. Uh, and uh, 2.5 uh, for the first OM. Uh, here you could see on the top of the image the LED with a significant lesion just at the origin of the mid-segment, just at the side, just uh, distal to the origin of the uh, first septal branch. On the next view, here we have the, you know, the again the lesion uh, of the, the circumflex uh, OM, OM1, OM2. And here you have the LED and uh, the diagonal. It's a long, diffuse LED disease involving the origin of the, the, the diagonal branch. And when you look on the next view, the diagonal itself, there is a, a quite a severe lesion, quite long, on this uh, uh, large uh, diagonal branch. So Bruno, now yep. we have seen the different views, LCX, OM1, OM2, yep. and LAD, major diagonal. Yep. So now we have to talk about what will be the strategy? The strategy. 
So for sure, for the left circumflex marginal, we will put two wire. We will wire both branches. I think that here, the two branches are, are diseased at the ostium, so we need to, to wire. Then uh, we will predilate the first marginal branch because it's a long lesion. Uh, we will not predilate the second marginal. It's, uh, from the beginning, we, we decide not to predilate the second marginal. After predilatation of the first marginal, then we will stent from left circumflex, proximal left circumflex, to the long lesion of the first marginal branch. Then we do a pot on the proximal circumflex. And finally, we will cross and probably put a second stent on the second marginal. This is the, the plan that we have addressed for the moment. OK, and for the LED? For the LED, I think that we will follow a little bit the same. We will, uh, I think, uh, wire the, the LED and wire the diagonal, both. Yeah. Uh, personally, I will not read the diagonal. I will try to keep medical. I will not touch the uh, diagonal, even the second, uh, the second portion of the diagonal. But if we decide to treat, it has to be done before treating the LED. Yeah. So we can treat the mid portion of the diagonal with a stent. Then, but personally, I will not treat it. So my strategy would be just to treat the LED, open the stretch toward the, toward the, the diagonal and to be provisional. Okay. Okay, so that will be a discussion. Yes? We, we have a question from the, uh, the audience. Uh, what do you think about the ostium of uh, the cirque? Do you want to treat uh, huh. until the, the ostium or not? Because uh, you can see the, the diameter of the, the, the ostium of the cirque. Yeah, that's, that's a very good question. In other words, when you look at this view, uh, which is a, a, a apicolor view, uh, the lesion of the cirque or the proximal segment is not severely diseased. But when we move to the aleocodal, and you will see on, the, on this view, you see that the, the origin of the proximal cirque, circumflex artery, proximally to the, the you know, the aneurysm, mm -hmm. Uh, there is some disease. So certainly we will have to place the stand from the Ost close the ostium mm -hmm. of the circumflex to uh, what we will explain you to the OM1. And then after the post dilatation, we will recross and uh, certainly place a second stand at the origin of the or provisional, but uh, 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 certainly uh, a second stand at the origin of uh, OM2. But you're right. That's a good question. Yeah. I, I mean, we, from what we can see on the angiogram, there seems to be a fair amount of calcification in the vasculature as yeah. well. So that circumflex is not going to be particularly easy to navigate stents down with the tortuosity and the calcification to be non-compliant. Um, can I just ask you, um, did you experience any difficulty with the radial puncture? Presumably you've, you, you used the radial artery for the right coronary angioplasty? Or? No, there, yeah, there was no particular... Uh, Problem uh, to to do the to to do the puncture. Yeah. Uh, and the, the wire the pulse was good. Yeah. Uh, was quite a large pulse, and uh, we used uh, this uh, thick French uh, yeah. uh, sheath, and uh, so now we have uh, and uh, a good. I think so we think a good support with the XB 3.5 guiding. So no and resistance that could indicate, um, for example, a mediacal cause or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Okay. So, and you wouldn't routinely do an arm angiogram. You'd reserve that for um, experiencing any particular issues with tracking your equipment. Okay, that's a good point. In our yeah. uh, in our usual experience, uh, we are not doing systematic angiography no. uh, when we do uh, radial angioplasty. Only if we have any resistance. At this moment, if you experience any resistance when you advance the wire, when you advance the guiding, never force. Do an angiography and understand what is the problem. And um, we did have a we have another question from the audience, and I, I, I'm not sure, Bruno, what your experiences is, but there was a question as to whether distal radial access could have been employed in this uh, patient. Well, I, I don't have any uh, experience with the distal radial access. Maybe you, Jim, have you uh, already uh, done some uh, puncture of? Uh... Yeah, we we we've done um, a limited number of distal radial procedures, and I, I have to admit that this is a challenging case, and it's not one that I would choose to do a distal radial procedure on. We're building up our experience and at the moment, you know, we reserve it for a situation where the, the standard radial approach is not available okay. or there's a particular issue where the patient might need a dialysis fissure in the very near future. 
So well, I think we, it's technically feasible for sure, but yeah. I think uh, I, you know it's it, it's some because it's a challenging case. I would reserve. It's a good it, question uh, for bleeding, high bleeding uh, patient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It can be thinking. Okay, so we have already placed. Uh, it was not easy, yeah, to place a, yeah. a wire in the uh, in the second OM branch. And now we uh, we try to place uh, the second one in the first one branch. Uh, so the wire is the run-through wire from the yeah, yeah. the two run-through wire. Two run-through wire. And uh, so we will see. Uh, I hope that uh, the problem is the as the you anatomy mentioned, is not too difficult. Is, uh, navigation through this uh, yeah. high tortuous uh, uh, angulation, and so sometimes it can be really difficult. So the quality of this run through is, uh, you know, this hydrophilic uh, coating, this can facilitate eh, the, the navigation in this kind of uh, uh, heavy tortuous vessel, but we will see. So now we are advancing the second one. Jean and Bruno, uh, we, we have yes. a, qu a question for Mr. Salim. Uh, yeah. um, he wants to know what about do you have a, a cautious point about uh, the the aneurysm segment uh, about the, the stenting the do, you have, uh, do you have do you have advice or uh, anything uh, or you, uh, you question want to on the, well, on the aneurysm on aneurysm it's not yeah. easy because effectively what when you size, have size what uh, I think that we, here we have to uh, to rely to what will be the, the normal Post. size of this uh, uh not, okay let's see where you're okay what would be the normal side of the artery and sometimes you have to uh, uh to take a, a larger balloon just at the level of the artery so effectively we what when we deal uh, when we huh. have to deal with the problem of uh, such aneurysm we choose the the, the, di the diameter of the stents according to the a diameter of the reference vessel and we try to to post dilate with a, a, a non-compliant balloon at the level of the aneurysm uh, in order to to be able to uh, perfectly adapt oppose the stent at the level of the uh, aneurysm so, uh, uh, a short a quite shorter and non-compliant balloon yeah okay so difficulty to uh, take the right uh, maybe i'm in a small branch yeah let's see uh we will see in the different view angulation test not easy, yeah. You see. You see. Not. So I'm good. not in the. Maybe this one is better to separate. Huh? Yeah, Sometimes, yeah, yeah. And I think that Jim mentioned that at the beginning. What is really uh, a problem here is that we have really difficulty by the angiography to see to, clearly. To see clearly and the bifurcation. When we are not seeing very well the lesion, it's always complex to treat it perfectly. Yeah. So that's a good message that uh, angiography is crucial. Yes. You need a very good angiography to understand the anatomy. You see, we are not in. Yeah. Mm. And. Uh, very difficult. Maybe I have to change the the, 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 the shape, the yeah, yeah. yeah, the angulation. So, Jim, for, for, for this kind of anatomy, torture city mm -hmm. anatomy, do you choose any uh, one stent uh, particularly, or uh, well, do you have? Uh, I mean, the stent companies. Yeah, the stent companies make claims about the deliverability of the different systems, and and operators form opinions. How much true science is behind that, and how much is perception and uh, an emotional reaction rather than reality it, yeah. it is hard to say. I, I'm not really convinced that any specific stent is more deliverable than any any other one at this point in time, given the current generation of systems. Many people will argue differently, um, and they will have their favourites, but uh, I don't think that the actual stent difficult huh? wow. manufacturer Here? Mm. Here we are. is a big driver yes, of no, deliverability. Sure. They're all very deliverable, in my opinion. I mean, I started to, 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 to do coronary stents with hand crimp palmer shad stents. Those things were not very deliverable. You know, current generation of stents are entirely different. There is a question from the audience about using extra yeah. support wires considering the ves vessel tortuosity. Um, yeah. I mean, I have to admit that Although the extra support wires will help in some ways, they're not the easiest wires to deliver yeah. in uh, yeah. here, yeah. and I wouldn't be going for an extra support wire. The other issue with them is that they will cause lots of wire artifact, I suspect, um, and that may cause even more yeah. difficulty with, uh, with, with angiographic uh, appreciation of what's going on. So I would go for standard um, working wires. Test. 
Ah ouais. You see the to to it is, uh, yeah. Yeah. And I, I think that difficult. was crucial. What was the, 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 I think that we didn't explain, but Jean perfectly go in the second marginal, yeah. then pull back the wire. And yeah. he, when he pulled back the wire, he tried to enter the first marginal. And at this moment, he, he was possible to achieve. Ah, this so, we are not in. Yeah. In the distality of the wire, it's not in. But we could leave the wire at that point. So we try to uh, have a better position, try yeah. to place the really the wire in the in the distal real distal segment but you see that the not easy not, not easy. easy because now we have lost uh, you know the the shape the distal shape of the wire test mm. here maybe sometimes you can advance a micro catheter and then uh, you know do but i think that here it's it's okay huh to straight sometimes yeah. we could yeah yeah it's okay sometimes you could be helped if okay. you Ask to the patient to take a deep breath. But here, the problem here that the, the woman is sleeping on the table, <laughs> and uh, so, so this, when... this maneuver cannot be uh, used today. Uh, but this is could be a good maneuver. If not, I will leave the wire here. Huh? What do you think, Bruno? I think it's okay. Test. Yeah, I think it's okay. And if we have any doubt about stenting the yeah. second marginal Test. first, when we leak all the yeah. difficulty to recross. To go it's to not the too bad, marginal, it's, uh, yeah. but you see now we there have to no advance a little bit more the distality of the wire. Difficult. Yeah. So I'm turning slowly, you see the talker, uh, clockwise, counterclockwise, and try to uh, negotiate this uh, curve slowly. Never push. Never push, and uh, we have to be patient. Did you change the band uh, until the beginning or not? No, 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 it's no. just uh, the same band, but uh, you see here now we have a, come on, uh, the Laxon Circonflex, uh, that's it. It's very difficult to <laughs> test. So with this uh, kind okay. of... Okay, this good, is now, nice. you good, see? Good, good, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, kind uh, of but it's a matter to... of patience. Uh, so now... It's the most important point. We have a good uh, <laughs> position with the guiding catheter, good support. We have the distality of the two wire, the opaque radio opacity of the two wire in the distal vessel. And now we will follow the, 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 the what we will uh, Bruno will tell you. We lay the first marginal here. So we use two, five. the OM1 yeah. as a major vessel. Yeah, no So doubt. this is... No discussion here. I think no we will we'll look at all the difficulty to go through this lesion. Okay, so this is OM1. We so can we have place a, a, a talker the here on the M2. Yeah. Yes. We have the question. Uh, um, thank you. If you you have some difficulties to, to pass the wire into the, the OM, do you want do you change your strategy uh, and have a provisional, uh, provisional stenting or or not? Sure. You, you you want to always treat. No, it's uh, true that uh, if we have a, no, it was not possible to. Uh, uh, to place the wire in the M1, in the distal M1, uh, we will try to open the M2 maybe and leave the M1 uh, uh, with medical treatment. Mm -hmm. That's uh, a of good course, point. And, uh, I think that uh, we have a plan, a plan A, a yeah, plan A, plan at the a beginning, and, but uh, we have to adapt what happened during the procedure. According, yeah, to the course of the procedure. <laughs> Okay, so this one is a balloon. Two five twenty millimeter, long one. Two five 20. by twenty. Okay, we cross. Here we have a, so we can go from right. the from the top here. Okay. Test just a little bit, just to see if we. What is the length? Twenty. 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 Okay. So twenty plus twenty should be a long stand. Huh? Yeah. Okay. We can discuss Inflation. here. Yeah. Okay. Six. To, to use two separate stand, one small two five for the distal, and one maybe a little bit. Yeah. Let's see, because thirty eight could be. Okay, would, here is good. Yeah. Eight atmosphere, no more. Okay. Uh, and just to recap on your strategy, you're going to stent into that oh, here. first marginal fur, uh, uh, yeah. uh, as your first step and then deal with the second marginal as your second step. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. why? Because anatomically, the, uh, the recrossing mm. uh, the first, uh, the OM1 stent will be yeah. easier Much than easier. to do the opposite. Uh, yeah. Because yeah. The, Much easier. you saw the, the difficulty that we had. Yeah. Yeah, to yeah. place the wire, okay, here. It, you know, you would anticipate it would be very difficult 
if you yeah. stent it into the second marginal to then place True. a second stent yeah. into the True. first one. The resistance of the uh, the stent and the potential for causing problems as you try to track through it would be very high. But then if yeah. you do it in the sequence that you oh, outlined, yeah, you have a much straighter run through to uh, to place your so second you stent. Cool, mm. yeah. It's very important. Okay, so you see what, what we try to do. Yeah. What we try to do is to place the to advance the balloon, and to see if the balloon cannot be uh, moved freely uh, from distal to proximal, proximal to distal. Okay, and uh, I felt some resistance at that point. That the reason why uh, with Bruno we inflate one more time, and then I will again test the vessel. Here it's okay. Now with a 20 millimeter, we can appreciate the length. Yeah. Hmm. So we can do a balloon. Uh, and if, uh, uh, okay. We need so to go injection. To... So we need to go from here. This is 20. Yeah. So it's at least it's 28 20. for the OM1. And we need at least. Plus, uh, we need a long one. Huh? Yeah. But uh, maybe maybe two, huh? because 38 could be. Maybe two. Two. My my question now is to stand with a, maybe a 24 down to the bifurcation and then took a second stand before the bifurcation. What do you think? Uh, what maybe. we need is to avoid uh, yeah. the overlap of the stand at the side That's of the bifurcation. That's why I said uh, down to the bifurcation. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. Let's do a reference yeah. and see. So Jim, I remove the balloon. Can you and resume now we will to see us the, the strategy? Because uh, we have some question about uh, the strategy. Yeah. Who is the main and who yeah. is uh, mm -hmm. the main branch? And uh, can you resume the strategy of uh, Bruno and, and so Jean? So, and yeah. geographically, the main is a, could, could be the second OM. Yeah. But technically, for the mm -hmm. procedure, yeah. we consider the main, the first OM are the main yeah. because of the tortuosity. It's a more complexly yeah. anatomy. So we we consider the vessel with a more complex anatomy at the main vessel. It's quite yeah. equivalent, uh, yeah. I would say. It's a, not so yeah. much. It's the diameter uh, uh, are quite, quite comparable. Uh, yeah. So we take yeah. a 24? Uh, 24, 28, because we need to carry the dissection down 2. to 2.5, the, huh? the distal Two. part. Yeah. yeah. The same with 25. 25, 28, and yeah. then we take another one okay. to do the proximal part of the okay. circuit. And with because the 2528, we will have the overlap distal to the, to the bifurcation. To the bifurcation. Yeah. So it should be okay. The 2528, Ultima Certain Size. So okay. it's an Ultima Certain Size 2528. Let's see how it will give But we need you know, to see up to the curve, huh? because we have the dissection yeah, 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 up to yeah, the yeah. curve. So 28 should be okay. And we have a couple of questions from the audience about yes, uh, the guiding catheter. It's a six French guide that you've chosen. Yes. You yeah. entirely yeah. have yeah. to work uh, multi stem bifurcations through a six. I think most people are nowadays. Um, and the configuration, you, you told us it was it's an, a, a, an extra backup type configuration. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. right. Extra backup for 3.5. And so if you're a radial operator, it's important not to, to understand that you need to get your guiding catheter optimally deployed and positioned at the beginning of the procedure. Um, if, you start okay. the mm. if you start the procedure with a poorly functioning guide, it will certainly deteriorate during the course of the procedure. Right. Okay. Okay. So you see here we have to... resting because we have uh, some uh, difficulty to advance... Yeah. Yeah, that's a, the next question I will ask. Yeah. That, uh, if you have some difficulty to to uh, to uh, to cross, so we have to, to maintain first yeah. the, the 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 position of the wire. This is very important because for the moment, I think that John is taking care, but take care of the yeah. the wire. The two wires. Huh? This is the okay. this one. This, this one. is the, the second wire. Okay. We have lose a little bit what we said before. Okay. We'll see. Okay, let's Maybe see. we need to uh, repeat the inflation, or what I'm doing is just pushing slowly, maintaining the push. Take care because the guiding is going and the guiding is a little going but you out. Advance. You have done some progress. Yeah, I would Maybe uh, you replace the, the wire. Yeah, and then we will uh, come back to uh, an additional pushing maneuver of the, the catheter. So you push Here, the cutter and you push the stent. Yeah, but you see the guiding is with a uh, continuous pressure. Okay. Yeah. The other possibility is to use a guide liner to advance mm -hmm. the guide liner mm -hmm. with yeah. the balloon till the. Uh, I try with, to place the guiding like that. You see, it's a. Uh, what do you think, uh, Jim? About uh, an anchoring balloon here. 
of Ursa Watt, sorry, an anchor blue. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess it looks very difficult to deliver that stent, and I would, I think I would try either with the guide liner or with a shorter stent. I think there's a lot of resistance in the proximal circumflex vessel, yeah. and yeah. It, it may be easier to deliver a shorter stent. Yeah. You may have to put yeah. two or three stents in, but. Uh, yeah. So. But uh, an uncle maybe we is need not a good, uh, we need to place a, idea because a higher pressure stand, uh, with a the, uh, yeah the OM2 yeah so, yeah so you could certainly do that because the guideline you know the guiding catheter isn't going to give enough support to yeah. um, to deliver yeah. this this long stent into that vessel and I think it, it's a combination of factors the circumflexes yeah. so what we can do is to uh, take an additional uh, balloon inflation for the new tank. Yeah, so I mean, interesting, we, there is some, you know, tortuosity, lack of support with the guiding, so there is different solutions. And the first one is to go back with the balloon and to try to open a little bit largely the, uh, the proximal circ. So of course, we know at the beginning that uh, it should be difficult. Eh? I have a question for the audience. Uh, at this step, uh, uh, who wants to use a, a godliner or a mother child? Uh, yeah, Godzilla. You can you can vote. There is also always the possibility to push a second wire, but yeah, when we see the difficulty to advance, yeah, that's the first, a problem. Huh? That's a problem. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you if you're going to do some more dilatation, it could be an opportunity to deliver a guideliner into a fairly yep. distal position, but you will have to have the guideliner uh, deployed before the balloon to do that. I think. Yeah. So we will try with first the balloon inflation. At the we advance the, the wire, yeah. and then we will see. I maybe higher pressure. So you will you you choose a, a, a more aggressive predilection. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Is it the same balloon or not? Yeah, yeah same two balloon. Five. Two point five. Two point five. Twenty atmosphere now. You don't want to choose okay. a bigger balloon. But well, we take I twenty that, uh, and uh, we well, will see. You'll see. Oh. So here it's not too bad. Go on. You want to replace the, yeah, the wire? Yeah, the wire is uh, semi-compliant eh? balloon. Two five at twenty atmospheres is going to be reasonably mm. big. It's going to be a yeah, it's two point eight, two point nine, or something like that. Approximating okay. three, anyway. So. Down. We we'll try to uh, advance a little bit the wire more distal. Yeah, if I it's can. It's more the tortuosity well, because we, we, yeah. you, you don't have. Uh, 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 it's a good result uh, with predilation. Yeah, I think it's more the what we can do is to advance the balloon the here with a guide and with the, the yeah. balloon here a test. The fact that you can track the balloon in the contrast the stent in would suggest mm. to me that uh, taking a shorter stent might actually do it. You know, the the the, the, the calcification makes it rigid and non-compliant in the proximal vessel. And then you have tortuosity. So tracking things down there okay. will always be okay. challenging for anybody, I think. For this kind of lesion with circ, do you use uh, like an on, uh, an onblad uh, left uh, well, guided or not? It would depend. It, if the left main stem was quite short, yeah. an amplat's guiding catheter is perfect because you can pull it back and point the tip down into the selectively into, into the, the circumflex. Circ. Um, but this oh, sure. patient, this kind, you, you think the 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 main the, the main trunk, uh, the main trunk is uh, it's too long. Is the, it's pro it's an, the I'm not sure an amplatz would uh, offer. Um, or, yeah. I'm not sure an amplatz would offer a lot here because the left main stem is not one of it's those very, particular short ones. Bad, but, uh, so I guess my next option here would be to go to the guideliner okay, at this here. point yeah. in time. Yeah. 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 Maybe in more a, distal. In, in, uh, Okay, now we in have the audience. Stop. We have a, a, a lot of uh, guideliner proposition. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, there there is a question: Why not pre dilate pre dilate with a bigger balloon? But I'm okay. not sure Try about here. that. I think there's no. a dissection risk in doing that. You know, your balloon's been up to nearly three millimeters in diameter already. No. I I think the main problem is compliance and tortuosity. Oh. You know, calcification yeah. and La. yeah. Now now we have a better position. You know of the of the, the wire in the first OM branch. Mm. Uh, the, the vessel is strained by the wire and uh, c'est bon. And now we will try again uh, to advance the, 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 the stand. So the, the next step will be to now, because we advance the wire more distally, 
we straighten mm. a little bit the, the yeah. curve and maybe we can be successful to advance the scent. We will if see. not, we will use the guide liner. If not, we use a guide liner. So you, ha you have an excellent wire position there now and you can yeah. see that the Yeah, no, it's not too bad. Huh? So uh, yeah. we will see. So the vessel confirmation is uh, quite different than it was at the beginning. Maybe a second wire? No. So you see the accordion uh, effect, yeah. effect eh, on the yeah. on the wham, but uh, I hope that uh, we could advance the stent. The okay. We don't have any ischemia on the ECG. No. No. no uh, on peut montrer l'électro. Okay, you see that uh, pressure is good. No particular problem. Qu'est-ce qu'on a comme stent? Hein? And Jean Bruno. We have a couple of questions about using the yes. guideliner here. Um, the when, you have, okay. when you have two wires in, uh, deployed distally, uh, is it safe to use a guideliner or do you have any experience difficulties? You mean uh, because With we have wires. a J wire yeah. In, yeah. The, in the first margin? Yeah. Uh, if yeah. It's effectively something that I have not uh, faced for the moment, but I think that if Me you too. put the, the, the guideliner on the first marginal branch, normally yeah. you can advance it. Uh, yeah, I will say that um, for me it's not a real an issue like this. But yeah, so I, I, I don't think, know, Jim. Have you? To have be you honest, I have, I have no experience with that. Yeah, so I think it's it's perfectly it's, safe and appropriate to use a guideliner when you have two wires down the vessels in two separate yeah. branches. Um, you can load the guideliner onto either of those uh, wires, and it will work perfectly well. No, I think that uh, we see once the same problem. Yeah. yeah, even with uh, I will go with the guy liner yeah. maybe now. We have okay. always the possibility to remove the second wire. If, okay, it yeah. advanced. You see? Yeah. You see? You see? Yes. Okay. Good. Yes. Good. Matter of patience. Yeah. But, uh, maybe you have to advance a little test. more. Yeah, I will advance because you, you remember it, it was the second. Yeah. There was a dissection, so I can advance a little bit more distal test. Yeah, yes, we you can. Uh, we have to advance uh, at the top of the. Here. Like this. Okay. Like this. Perfect. Okay. Go did, on. You change your, to... did you change your Six. technique or it's, a, uh, it's no, the no, same no, technique? It's the same. You just, push. Yeah, uh, you know, it's just, just the position. The difference is the position of the, of wire, the wire in okay. the distal. Yeah, I think that okay. we straighten. Uh, okay. Go on. Okay. On deploy. Six. Yeah. So we are down to the bifurcation and yeah. we see. Six, eight. Six, and we are down to the bifurcation. Which, we, which, which was it? 2.5? 2.5, yeah. It looks large, huh? Yeah. Mm. And what stent is that, can I ask? It's the, the same than before, the 2.5.28 uh, Ultimaster Town Side. Okay, okay. So what we, we can do... We deploy at 8 atmosphere, not to... Uh, open to, here. Yeah. I pull back a little bit. We are inside now, and maybe you can take a high pressure. Yeah. I am inside. So go you on. can go to high yeah. pressure. In order to try to post the date correctly. Okay, good. And now we can uh, place one more here, Pro proximal to the bifurcation. You want to test inflation? To yeah. We, yeah, okay. Maybe inflation of the uh, one more. Okay, good. Yeah, very important to do that, I think, Jean, mm. because the next stent will need to track into that area yeah. Through, yeah. through the proximal tortuosities. Yeah. You can have okay, some problem you if you don't do that. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you did incredibly well to get that stent in there, and I think the distal wire position was a big help to you. And uh... yeah, okay. Clearly so we we are able to straighten a little bit the loop and yeah. facilitate. Uh, what we can do to take a view, you know? Uh, okay. It's not too bad here. Okay. We have the accordion effect yeah, on the distal. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. So now we have to advance. Ah, the problem will be the length. And maybe we can measure with the balloon. We take think? the 20. We can take the 20 millimeter balloon. That yeah, we 20 have. millimeter balloon, maybe a free zero. What do you think? Ah, yeah, uh, yeah, it's because when it was a 2.5 and a little bit large, yeah. I think that the 2.5 will. 2.5, uh, 20 millimeter or balloon. Or 275. Yeah, it's okay. 2.5, 20. Just to measure the length. The, the goal the is length to place length. the balloon, the stand, no, no, from the ostium yeah. of the circumflex. Close to the ostium to the, the end of the the, the, proximal, uh, the part. proximal end of the stent, place in the M1. So now we need to measure. It should be more than 20. Yeah. Yeah. Should be certainly to 24. Let's see. Maybe 28, but 24 sure. We'll see. That's a full count.
where we are. Look, hmm. difficult to cross. This, this is, is 20. 20. So take a, a picture and then we will see if we need 24 or shorter. Just 20 ah. is a... <laughs> 20 is enough, isn't it? Yeah. Or 18, 18, is, it's 18 or 21. So. 18, 21, I would say. Tw 18 should be too short. 18 Look. will be more deliverable there, though, Jean, won't yeah. it? I will take 21. No? 21? Yeah, 21. De, oh, de, tu veux pas plus long? No, 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 très bien. OK, on peut, on peut gonfler, là, on y est. Okay. So we take an inflation here. We have a, a question from the audience Eight here. There as to whether you oh, think yeah. there's any dissection the at the distal right. end of the stent or whether it's all accordion. To me, it all looks like uh, the accordion I think it's effect. accordion effect. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Then we will... Uh, I think that we cannot, uh, you know, address this problem unless at we... At present time, we cannot see. Uh, unless we remove a little bit the wire, yeah. but it's not the time to remove a little bit no. the wire. <laughs> 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 we we'll see distal, later. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the distal appearance isn't a concern to me at this we'll point in time. We'll see later. <laughs> okay. Diameter? 2.5 or 2.75? 2.75. Hein. So 2.75 by 21. You want to... Redo? We can take a view, yeah. yeah. It should be okay. And then we could postulate with yeah. a 3 or maybe 3.5. Uh, 3 should be enough. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. It depends. Let's see. So the challenge for this next part of the procedure will be navigating the tip of the second stent into In the uh, ostium of that stent there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, clearly. That's a really I fully point. agree with you. As you said earlier, sometimes um, asking the patients to breathe in will change the configuration of the vessels enough yeah. to facilitate passage of equipment. Okay, so we are arriving slowly. Slowly, no, it's okay. You are inside, yeah. I think. Uh, yeah, you have to be inside. Okay. Uh, now we have to, to, uh, to push the, the two wires one, this one, particularly. Don't lose replace the, the guiding here, okay. And now try again to advance a little bit. Ready, ready yeah. to test, okay. Test, okay. Sorry, no, 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 take your okay. time, take your time. I was looking. It's not too bad, eh? No, it's okay. Mm, okay. It's okay. It's okay, yeah. You want you to want see to another view for the yeah, osteoma? But I, I think it's okay. Okay, we go. You want to... F maybe we can... Picture? Feel, yeah. Okay. We are clearly inside the... Yeah, yeah, yeah it's okay. Yeah. Look, looks Five like an yeah. excellent six, position, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Go on, 6, 8. So it's a 2.5, yeah? Yeah. Because you can go to 20. Sometimes you, you don't what have trouble. What we can do is doing this. <laughs> yeah. Look at the, yeah, it's, it's like, okay. Look at the lady. We are just, should be okay. So what we can do now is to advance the stent a little bit, uh, the balloon, balloon of the stent. more distal yeah. in order to take the, <laughs> the overlap, if I can. Yes, you know, yes. it's a balloon of the stent. So whether it was inflated one time once a 20 atmosphere is difficult to advance yeah. to be more distal here. Maybe it's better. Go on, 20. Take care of the wire. Yeah. Go on to so 20. Further yeah, on this there, is yeah, definitely, yeah. Okay, here is good. So we have done the... We can see the, the tortuosity on the distal yeah. uh, tip of the, of the wire, I think. You so see? The, yeah. yeah. So it was according, yeah. I think. We'll see yeah. it. Uh, We'll see at the end. Um, yeah. Okay. I guess. We have to all the time to be optimistic. Eh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we can bet on accordion effect, I hope. But uh, good. So now we have the OM2 wire jailed by the stent in proximal. Now we remove the balloon of the stent. Maybe we can take a view. Yeah. Bruno. It's good. Good, yeah. You see now that the wire uh, yeah. is uh, being, going back. We don't have the... So, track. question yeah. now, uh, what do you think? Take a 3-0, certainly. 3-0. Do a the, pot. Yeah. We have a 3-0. Donnez-nous un ballon de 3-0. 0 non compliant. 3-0-12, non compliant. 
un compliance si vous avez oui, euh, peu importe c'est bon so i think that very well answers the audience's earlier question earlier question about the distal appearance it was clearly yeah. uh, an accordion effect because it's disappeared yeah. isn't it yeah. And when you do so, the uh, the pot in the pro proximal vasculature here, you'll you'll leave the OM2 wire still in, since you have no concerns about pulling that wire after the pot in. Or well, it's a, it's a good point because for this particular patient, we have some a lot of tortuosity, and it's yeah. maybe uh, you know it could be a problem. Sometimes what we can do is to pull back the uh, part of the wire till the radio opaque, for example, part in order to limit the, 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 the risk of resistance when we will pull back the, the balloon. But I think that it's for, in most of the time, it's not an issue to yes. leave the, the, the balloon, the, the wire gelled. Here it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. So Sometimes if you have any uh, concern, any fear about this uh, problem, you can pull back the wire till the radiopaque part, the, uh, the ostium, the radio yeah. spark start at the ostium, and then you just have to pull the, the end of the balloon, and it's, uh, the end of the wire is okay. Yeah. So here we are now, we have a uh, 3 0 at uh, 24. 22. 22. It's an NC balloon, so we can do up to, uh, you see, 24 uh, atmospheres. So we, ha we have uh, one question from the audience about, are you concerned about uh, whether you have involved the LED ostium, whether your stent will project there? Um, we have done a, you know, a contrast injection with the balloon, the stent implation, and we see that there was still passage of, uh, yeah. of dye inside the LED. So normally this is an indication that yeah. the, the yeah. stent clearly not uh, be in front or it just okay. in, in front of the ostium, but not covering the, fully the... That's okay, the yeah. So, now, uh, the ideal would now would be to recross. To recross, yeah. So we have two options. Take the M1 wire no. and go to the <laughs> M2. <laughs> Bruno say no, no, no way. But this could be done uh, when we have a, a normal anatomy, an uh, easy an anatomy. An uh, in this particular case, no. no. We will use a third wire. Mm. Uh, so we have the OM1 here, OM2 here yeah. on the table, OM1 is here, and now we will uh, use a second, uh, a third wire to cross the stand struts and place this uh, third wire in the OM2. Do you and then the, when the, the wire, we be, it's the same, the it's same the same wire, wire. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then when we will have, uh, I hope, the wire in the distal OM2, we will remove the jail wire, the OM2 jail wire, yeah. and then advance uh, certainly with 2.5 balloons through the struts, open the struts, uh, do the kissing, and the question will be, do we need to uh, uh, use a, a double st uh, stand strategy? Yeah. Maybe we need uh, to do a, uh, you know, a sort of tap uh, uh, because the, there was, if you look at the uh, baseline anatomy, the baseline angio, there was a critical lesion at the ostium of the of the OM2. Huh? So now, <laughs> what we need is to go in the circumflex. Yeah. So maybe we have to push a <laughs> you little see that bit we on can it go here. Easily in the LED, so yeah. probably that the stent. Which is, is not good, but uh, it's not uh, the purpose now. Huh? It's not the objective. You see, it's not easy, yeah, because, uh, or maybe to change a wire, we will see. Yeah. That was a good point from the yeah. beginning to discuss, you know, the That's choice of the, the yeah. shape of the guiding and yeah. probably an amplatz could be. Uh, this is not too yeah. bad here. We say we are uh, the facing the struts yeah. Yeah. of the and stand. And this is, okay. Hmm. I'm not sure that we are not through the struts, huh? so it's okay. So, so now here. You, you try to go in the first now we have to now. descend in the M2. Okay. Here maybe. Are you sure that you are? Uh... No. <laughs> in the <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> so the, the I, I do not feel, you know, this metallic uh, uh, feeling that yeah, you have okay. when you have through yeah. thread. I do not feel it. But really, honestly, I'm not sure. I mean, the advantage of using the. Uh, the OM1 wire is that you know that you'll be within the stent architecture when you cross. 
but then you lose your wire position the distal in the in the OM1. That's correct, yeah. The other possibility is to place a, a short balloon, you know, on the in the proximal circ eh, on the on this wire. And uh but see I don't there know, is, just you are in the marginal, the first marginal. I uh, yeah. difficult, huh? really, huh? Here yeah, it's easy, need... yeah. So oh, okay. I could, yeah, you could believe that we are uh, mm, 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 in, in the, good, uh, in, in the in right the channel, in the yeah. proximal circumflex. But the Just problem, the, the resistance problem is to, uh, to navigate through the, to the resistance the, uh, the of the stand one, huh? now that we are at the proximal. Well, there is another possibility is to move to the LAO view. Yeah. To the but I'm not sure that uh, because this particular anatomy that we could see better the the vessel. Not easy. Yeah. There, there, there is uh, a question from the audience as, as to whether you are confident yes. you're within the stent lumen, or, or whether you're concerned that you may be uh, outside the proximal <laughs> struts of the stent. Yeah, that's. So it's a matter of the feeling that we have uh, between your fingers when you are yeah. manipulating the wire. If you feel some, uh, you know, uh, metallic. Uh, resistant metallic feeling uh, with your torque or your fingers uh, you are certainly through the the wire if you do not feel this you could be uh, more optimistic to say that you are in just mm. but uh, it's not easy yeah, to look at that huh? maybe we, we will have to uh, if I cannot recross we will leave that like that. Huh? Yeah, that's another. Because the, the yeah. second marginal is open, yeah, widely open. It's difficult, so difficult. It may be better, but... Uh, well, you have, Timmy three, you have Timmy 3 flow in that vessel. Yeah, it's not yeah, yeah. Uh, absolutely mandatory to do anything Exactly, to and uh, you know the wire is a little bit destroyed. Yeah. Um, if you are able to go in the LED and pull, yeah. jump down to the uh, circumflex normally. Or maybe we change the wire, maybe yeah. we take uh, more. Yeah, uh, we, yeah, we have a, a, the same question in the, in the audience. Uh, what do you want to, to reconsider to have a, 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 a like a whisper or filter wire? Yeah, filter FC wire, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Huh? Do we have a filter, uh, like change the band? Uh, yeah. Because it's the first threat of the of the stand to uh, yeah. You see, it's, it's not easy. No. So if here, we are, I mean, we are in the lady, so here no problem. I pull back, maintain the, mm -hmm. this this uh, shape, and it's difficult. It's not easy. Yeah, the the the, the whole conformation of that proximal circumflex is quite different now that the yeah. stand is yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And we have it. resistance due to the long stand. So we'll try with another wire. The Fielder FC. I like this wire for the bifurcation lesion. So we will try with this one. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to uh, ask a question to the audience here yeah. and ask, ask them to vote on who who would be happy to leave the OM2 now um, with that appearance of a, a narrowing at its ostium but Timmy 3 flow. So would you be happy to leave it? Yes. Or would you be happy? Un unhappy to leave it, no. And we'll see what what uh, what we with get. Bruno, here. honestly, yeah, we will yeah. be happy to leave. Eh? But uh... <laughs> <laughs> but I think that it's a good message. It's we have to adapt to the anatomy yeah, and the course, difficulty yeah, that we have during course, the procedure. Yeah. And clearly, yeah. here it's a complex procedure since the beginning. When we see the difficulty to advance the wire, the difficulty to advance the stent with the yeah. risk of uh, you know uh, <laughs> of uh, migration of embolization of the stent, etc. Then we have already stent the circum proximal circumflex, the first marginal. We have a good, quite result on this uh, vessel. So we can consider that if the patient now has only this uh, second marginal lesion, it could be okay. Huh? So the balance push, of the yeah, the balance yeah. of the audience votes is to is that you you know they feel that you have to do something to the audience. You have to yeah. continue. I, I have to say I don't to <laughs> I don't totally agree with that because you know, I, I, I think there is an excellent flow and you know you don't it's not mandatory to do anything I, and, so and here it's you advance the, the wire difficult. maybe easily or is it the wire yeah it's easily now the the key is uh, the, can we cross the struts um so it's, 
Uh, yes. Again, yeah, uh, do good. not ask me if it is the distal threat or the ah, proximal you, one. <laughs> so it wasn't because so you removed the wire. Yeah, so happy to... Uh, to and what about uh, the patient at, the, at this moment? Do you have uh, any ECG modification or no, any chest not pain? Yet. We can see the you know, and uh, okay. honestly, okay. she is sleeping on the table. Okay, okay. now... Maybe it can okay, be... Good. It can change your, your strategy if you, if you have uh, any sure. sign of ischemia. Uh, I'm in a small branch. Yeah. That's, yeah. Uh, and the wire there, Jean, is that a fielder that you've gone to? Fielder yeah. FC, yeah. FC, yeah. okay. FC wire. But the problem is that I take this uh, small, uh, it's not the big branch. It's the, do you see the small see, yeah. uh, circumdistal cirque? So I will try to come back and take the right one. This is okay. okay. This is the right one. Okay, so this is the right one. Yeah. So now we have to avoid the mistake. Eh? Yeah. This is the right one. This is the gel wire is up. This is the gel wire, and so I will remove. Okay, from here we can remove the gel wire here. And you see, there is no major engagement no, it's of okay. the, the guiding, yeah. so it's of course it was okay. So now we have the two wires in the right uh, lumens. So here we have. It's easy because they don't have the same color. So now the the filter if. Here it's and the fielder is here. Here, it's the green one. So now on the, whoop, you advance. Up, you up, 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 okay, okay here it? we are. So on the fielder now we can take. Uh, two we five? can place a two point five balloon. And then you want to think. The cinq quinze normal, un ballon normal, man. The cinq quinze. Compliant. Semi compliant. So we we can advance a two point five on the distal, uh, on the second OM. Open the struts. Attention. Hein. And then, after doing that, advance the a short stand using a tap technique. Yeah. And finishing by the kissing yeah. and a final pot. This so is this the, is a goal. The, and then the for the, the, the LED, it should be certainly easier because we will take care of the. But, uh, yeah. Certainly, the LED leaving the diagonal. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I think so. And it's maybe what you we have proposed, to Bruno, at the beginning. the beginning. And maybe we have to consider to Whoop. stage this second procedure because already we have spent a lot of energy on this first lesion. And yeah, yeah. Maybe that. we can use uh, two two procedures. Yeah. Uh, Let's see. Well, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to finish first and see what to do. Focus uh, to yeah. focusing to do on the on the circumflex yeah. and uh, use tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. Uh, do the okay. Whoop. Hmm. Always the same. Not problem. easy. Huh? Mm. I hope that we have not outside. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Could be. Could be. So we'll see. How do we know Normal. if you are no, outside? Know. Normally, yeah. you know. Normally, if you with a two five, you should cross. I will say the proximal. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have. I will say if I see this kind of resistance. This is an indication that probably the wire go in a wrong direction. Yeah, way. I think so. So would, I think that we yeah. are. Would the yeah. balloon track on the other wire? That will tell you, won't it? If it tracks on the other wire, you know your first wire must be outside. Oh, you this, mean do to try on the no, other wire? No, this uh, way, on this the OM1 wire. Yeah, no, no, no. Okay, this uh, one is uh, the right if one. You, huh? If you choose a, a, a smaller balloon. No, but I think that normally you should not have difficulty here. Mm. Yeah. This is not, uh, you know, if you use a smaller balloon, you can increase the problem. Yeah. yeah. I will not use a smaller balloon. Yeah. If I have difficulty to cross through the struts of the stents, maybe. Take but a view this, of that. At this stage, no. Just, it, yeah. No, we are in front of the ostium of the circumflex. Yeah. I, I will not push too no. much. Mm. So, don't need one troisième uh, guide, s'il vous plaît. We will try a with another, another one. I will take another filter. I leave this one because we know that this one is not in the good path. Yeah, and it's probably certainly in a, not in the right channel. For these and complex take, patients, uh, do you routinely have these patients quite sedated? I know that's quite a widespread yeah. practice in France that uh, you have an anaesthetist there and the patients. Yes, yeah, 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 we have the anaesthetist yeah. on the yeah, on the table. that's correct. In the cat lab, yeah. in the in it's the a in conscious the room, sedation. Yeah. yeah, and if you, if you have any pain or uh, yeah. anxiety or stress, uh, yeah. We can uh, have a little bit more. 
Let's see now with the uh, 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 fielder. We, yeah. we don't routinely um, use oh, that. We, right. we don't routinely have an anaesthetist with okay. us. So, <laughs> you know, we, we would use um, midazolam and fentanyl as required yeah. in small amounts. Ça va, madame. Mm -hmm. oh, on a presque oh, fini. Ça avance bien. Ah, ah. On a presque fini. So... The patient He's can answer and, yeah. and yeah. ask questions, so yeah. it's not a very deep sedation. Indeed. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's well, you know, I think there's a lot, there's a lot to be gained from uh, sedating patients in certain circumstances, and with a complex, difficult, and long case like this, you know, having a comfortable patient, free of distress during the procedure, is a, is, yeah. is a useful thing. Look, the position of the guide wire, I think, is better on the, yeah. uh, the ostium or the circ. It's still difficult to pass through the, the, the strut, but... It's difficult, huh? Here we are. Is it a fielder if FC? Yes. Yeah, the same one, fielder FC, but uh, quite difficult eh, to... Uh, Patient is a key. To take it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. here we are. But now we have to take the second uh, you know, angulation. The same than before. Uh, yeah. Why yeah. not? We can take it here. What's uh... okay. okay, here we are. So, so now on this one, leaving the other. Yeah. You want to leave the other one? Yeah, why not? Take to advance mm -hmm. the 2.5 two balloon. Let's see if the not, two a 2.0 balloon. Do you have a better feeling? In your wiring? Yeah, the feeling was not bad, eh? but that's a problem. Uh, I was surprised, but, mm. uh, you know, that's life. Okay, here we are. So, it's a 2.5? Yes, it's a 2.5. We will see. We will try with the same balloon. If not, we take a 2.0. Or 1.5. Wow. If a two, you need to take a 2.0, then it's not a good indication to stand there after yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the circumflex. Okay, see. we'll see. We have a question, a question from a uh, difference. Romania. Do you use yeah. uh, IVUS sometimes for this kind of uh, difficulties? And uh, well, gym? No. look, an IVUS would be great, but there's no way an IVUS probe's going but down yeah, that vessel. Different. I don't think yeah. you know. You can't problem. get a, uh, a a balloon easily into it. So I think trying to pass an IVUS probe down there will be yeah. really difficult. Mm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> sure, if you could get it down yeah, and, and try to yeah, assess yeah. the wire position in relation to the stent struts, great. Yeah. But I, I, I just don't think you deliver right. an IVUS catheter. I have no experience to, to yeah. use IVUS uh, to sure. pass through yeah. uh, the stents. Yeah. yeah. Do you no, use uh, no, I, I've no. never done that. No. No. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it may help you in the pros proximal segment there to, 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 to determine precisely where that yeah, wire yeah, is. Yeah, of course. But, yeah. but I just don't think an IVUS is going to be deliverable. Here so you here see, is better. It's better, better than but balloon. now we have ah. just the difficulty to cross, cross the struts. The but, struts uh, but it's we not descend. the same place. Huh? So I think that here... Here is good. Here it's okay. What is the size of the balloon? 2.5. Uh, 2.5, five, but uh, if two we five. cannot, I think we will cross. advance uh, crossed, no? another one. We try. I think a smaller we one. Yeah, or a new here. one. A smaller Six. or new one. It's it's okay. We cross it. Okay. Yeah, go on. Six, eight, ten, fourteen. Good. Ah, Maybe you can try to advance the balloon a little bit more now yeah. that you have opened the little. Oh, we can. We can. Okay. You see. You see? We can. Okay. Go Take on. Take care of the other one. Ten, yeah. twelve. Yeah. Good. Okay. Ten. It's good. Down. So you, you've clearly crossed it with the balloon there, haven't you? There was some yeah. uh, question from the audience about using a smaller or shorter balloon, but I think... Uh, the same one. It's yeah. a 2.5. Huh? And how long is the balloon? 15. 15. Okay, okay, yeah. So now what we will do is to try to go up inside the, 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 the guiding and try again to cross it. And you see it's not easy. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, so we could anticipate that to at cross present with time... It's too early to, to take the, the stand. Go on here. But maybe we can do provision. Yeah. <laughs> we have already. <laughs> stand delivery <laughs> into that vessel will Open. be very, very difficult, I think, because yeah, of yeah, the, yeah. you know, the additional friction of the stent uh, yeah. balloon on the, uh, the wire okay. bias will Come take on. the stent against the, uh, against the already deployed stent. So I, I, I would try very hard now not to, uh, not to, not to make this a two stent procedure. Go on here. Go, 20, 
Yeah, but we are. I try to, uh, you know, advance balloon several times. Yeah. Take a high pressure down. In order to make a, a right channel, yeah, and then we will try again to advance uh, the balloon. If I have no resistance, I will uh, I will place a stand. If I have, uh, I think uh, some difficulties. Here is not too bad, but uh, I think that the, the crucial point is to cross the proximal third. And mm. it's true that uh, I think that our guiding is a little bit too short. And I think that a 375 could be the best option in this particular case. But now it's too late. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> so I advance the other wire, OK, here. And now I try again from the guiding, take the curve. It's not too wide here. Huh? You Look. don't have any resistance? No, no, no. Okay. But Maybe it's time to uh, for the stand. We will see. We have to control. Are you ready? So we control the the picture. Ready? Yeah. Go on. It's good, huh? Not so bad, huh? So for the size of the stand, two five. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. By fifteen or eight, sixteen. Yeah, well, what do you think? I will be short. At Twelve. No, not. So not too long, eh? because there's a curve. Eh? Yeah, but uh, Pete, you can take another you, view. What are your thoughts about really? maybe maybe accepting that angiographic appearance? Yeah, let's let's see the result on the other view. What do you think? Eh? There is a dissection. Mm, yeah, we see a dissection. So twelve or fifteen? Twelve should be enough. Twelve, 12 enough. For me. Okay, the sink. The stang do them. Do them. We see on this view that there is a dissection yeah, we, on the curve. Definitely, we, see we a need gym to do. Yeah. On this. yeah. Sorry. Unfortunately, I will say, we see the stagnation of the contrast also. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now it's another uh, story. Let's see. No, I think it was interesting case eh, because uh, definitely we need to do something for this woman. And uh, we know, we know at the, yeah. when we select this patient that uh, we will get a lot of difficulties. We know that. Mm. But uh, mm. so I verify that this wire is OM1. Okay. You see the contrast hang up there quite clearly yeah. now. Don't yeah. You? Yeah. We did the, 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 the contrast, the, the dye is still present. So that's not a good news, I will say. Um, the wire is uh, is this tall. It's okay. Oh, it was okay. Yeah. yeah no, I you. just to I don't know. We'll see. That's the key point. And okay, let's see. Uh, okay. That's a problem of the guiding. Yeah, the yeah. guiding mm. is too short, definitely. And that's uh, the difficulty. We will try, but uh, I'm not optimistic. Uh. You Take see. Take care of the other yeah, wire. Yeah, the other wire is moving out. This is a good news. Maybe like this. This one is moving out. With less resistance on the curve. Let's see like this, maybe. Maybe like that. Let's see. If you can take no. the curve, but not. No. So now we Sorry, have to help it. help the the stent with the guiding. No. Madame? Madame Labrousse. Ah, le papa. Sometimes if you ask the patient to cough, this could help. But she's sleeping now. This is clearly we see that the, the yeah, stand yeah, is yeah, a, at the site is, of the bifurcation. You the, see on the the opposite wall. Yeah. So that's the. Problem. So I try to mm. push the guiding here like that. You see on the. We will see. If I can, the risk is to have every everything, everything. moving out. I, I I advance very very slowly. Uh, the guiding is going out. Uh, yeah. Maybe you reconsider the. Got liner. There is a, um, the other option is to put a third wire, but uh, difficult. Huh? Difficult. Huh? Yeah. The advantage of the guide liner is that you will uh, maybe be able to put it in the first curve. So, so what what I will do is to uh, open with the large balloon. Take a 3-0, 3-0-15. 
Yeah, I think if we open the stretch with a large balloon, maybe it should be easier. We okay. will see. 3-0-15, un ballon. Yeah. Ballon de 3-0, compliant, 3-0-15. We will see. So we keep the stance on the, the table. First step is to open a little bit largely with yeah, the squeeze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the first step. Uh, Then you have do. the possibility to uh, put a third wire in, the other, in order to make the like a buddy wire. Yeah. Because at this moment, the stand could slide on the other yeah, wire. Sure. And avoid to butt to, to abrupt on the uh, opposite side of the stand. And after, you have the possibility of the guy liner. Let's see. And uh, is the patient still quite stable with... No, no ECG change for the moment. Entre le, la pression, l'électron. You see the, the pressure? Yeah. Mm. yeah. Uh, it's okay. Okay, I open it. I open the, the valve. Good idea. In order to advance the, the free zero balloon. Yeah. There is no problem with the balloon, you see? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. why. Absolutely no problem. Go on. We have a good idea from the audience. Uh, Using a non-coring balloon Six. in the in the VOM stent. That's a possibility. Yeah, I was thinking to that. So first, I will use this balloon three zero uh, just to open the struts. We will use this three zero to open the proximal end of the stent, and then we re try again with the stent. If it doesn't work, effectively, okay, go on six, eight, ten. We will uh, use the an anchoring uh, balloon technique. Okay, down. The other possibility also to put a small one five millimeter balloon on the first marginal branch yeah. to make also like a body wire, but with the balloon. A body balloon. Yeah. Body, balloon. body balloon. Yeah. Go on six. One more time. To really I mean, to open the threads. Huh? When you see that balloon track down quite easily, I mean Eight. you. you, you should be able to get a guideline close no. to the uh, okay. bifurcation point yeah. there, shouldn't you? So good. So now the stent again. <clears throat> yeah. And if not, we play, we do the anchoring. No? If it doesn't work, if I do blue, si vous plaît, parce que là. Whoops. So I verify the the integrity of yeah, the stand. Yeah, the integrity of the stand when is good. All this maneuver, it's good. Then uh, you can have some no difficulty problem. to track it. So we yeah. can use it. So always important to check the stent there, isn't it? Because you can lift the edge of the stent in uh, the, the original attempts to deploy it. And you sometimes see a strut sticking up at 90 degrees. Okay, we go. One more time. You see the, the support with the guiding is not optimal. And yeah, here we have yeah, again we, the problem. The mem okay, take care of the other yeah, wire. Yeah, yeah, the other wire. Difficult, huh? And this one also. Difficult, so I have to pull the, remove the, the balloon. Try again with this. Hmm. So this is a distal one. Yeah. And this one is a proximal one. And I have now they did a lot of difficulty to move the proximal one. That this is normal eh? because we are. You have the way. Yeah. So the other possibility maybe is to place the. Hmm. Look at that. Oop, yeah. oop, oop, oop. Sorry for that, huh? but uh, very difficult. Yeah. Test. Take care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Test. Okay. Just to see where we are with the. Very difficult. Test. Okay. I'm afraid another, to have this, this section. Another good, uh, good idea from the from the audience is to to use a micro catheter in the in the, the OM2 uh, wire on the OM2 yeah. wire and to change with a stiffer dilo. Yeah, yeah, that's a possibility. Yeah, that's yeah. a good point. 
You see, I, I understand that, but I don't think that will resolve the problem because there is a wire bias issue. The wire is taking the yeah. stent-loaded balloon against the stent struts, and I don't think the stiffer wire yeah, no. will resolve it. I think the anchoring balloon is a, it's a, Don't even it balloon, be a good option. Outside, yeah, the balloon, is, the wire is out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So um, that's a problem. So you need to readvance it or? Uh, I don't know what we need to do. The, the OM1 wire isn't absolutely critical to the procedure at this point, is it? I mean, I think uh, yeah. at that point, no. At that point, no. Yeah. The, the possibility is to use that as a. Um, so what we can do is to remove it. Yeah. Try again to advance the, on this wire the balloon. If the this not working, then we can advance we the guideliner. Advance, uh, or we can advance a micro catheter. Use a stiff wire. I I, I like the this idea. And on the stiff wire, uh, advance the gain the stent in the OM2. Uh, if this is not working, uh, maybe we will leave like that. Huh? Are you concerned about using a guideliner? I mean, there is a question from the audience about... Um, no, cause... no, 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 but uh, the problem is, as you see, I look, think at, look at that, yeah. it's a very difficult. And I think that uh, the problem is the, the support with the, mm. the catheter, which is not optimal. And that, that's why, yeah. So what we can do is... Two things, a guide liner, yeah. or, but I'm not sure that the guide liner could be advanced, not sure. On the balloon, eh? if we track it on the balloon? Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure. Okay. Oh, okay. you see? You see the Everything. problem? Okay. Mm. Okay, that I tell you, that's uh, so difficult. So yeah. now, so maybe we now, can change the wire. Do you want to change the guide, the guide exactly. liner? Exactly, give me yeah. 375. So sorry for that, eh? because it's 520. I'm sorry for that. Mets moi 25. Guy de 35. Le guide 35. Guy de 35, rapidement. Ok. Le cathéter 375. Ou bien un en place. Hein. Ça peut être aussi un AL2. Hein. Bon, là, elle est sortie en 375. Ouais. Donc, avec un 375 guide, vous pouvez avoir plus de support. Oui. Yeah. Oui. Yeah. Uh, the autre option est aussi le left en place. AL2. Yeah. Ou AL3. This is another option. But I don't want to be too aggressive with the left hand no. plats. An AL2, I mean, she's not a very tall lady, is she? And it will be a big yeah, yeah, guiding yeah. catheter uh, to manipulate in that aortic mm. ruse. Well, okay, here we are. Flushy? Uh, what is this? Flushy, flush, flush, flush. So, yeah, flush. So, Question about the amplats, we've, we, we've dealt with that really. Yeah. Do you think if you have some difficulties to pass uh, the stand and the balloon in the Just. in the ostial of Cirque, do you think it's that uh, we have a strut uh, protu uh, protruded in, uh, in the LM? I mean, it's certainly, well, possible. It's certainly possible, but... Yeah, but I don't think it's... A pro it's that's the I reason you we we have so, some difficulty uh, yeah. to to pass. I mean, the the, the still open. The yeah. problem is the confirmation of yeah. the vessel. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's direction in relation to the tip of the guide. Mm -hmm. Tu veux un nouveau? Maybe it could be oui. easier with un BM, a hein, plus larger. Yeah. Uh, un BM. Uh, I mean, e even now too. that that. Uh, Second marginal has Timmy three flow. Yeah, you yeah. Know, and there yeah, are no yeah, yeah. We, we can right, reconsider but, uh, the, the strategy. The uh, problem is the stagnation of of die. Huh? Yeah. It's That's in the the, the uh, aneurysm. No. Yeah. No. It's, think? it's a dissection. Yeah, it's dissection. Dissection, to, uh, dissection uh, or aneurysm? The, yeah. I think it's a dissection. A dissection. It's a little bit distal to the to the mm -hmm. bifurcation. At the level of the curve, because there was a curve. Yeah, at yeah, yeah, yeah. So we retry with the. Uh, you know, a wire with a better support. You see the dissection? The risk now is to take ah, the yeah. dissection. It's bigger the dissection. And bigger. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. The audience asked about uh, if there's a concern about um, LSD, longitudinal stent deformation with guideliners. But, I mean, the answer to that is yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. But it may be, the, Just... may be something that you have to do. Any passage Just... of any equipment through a previously yeah. deployed stent can be associated with LSD events, so it doesn't have to be the guideliner. Um, 
you know, the stents, the balloons, they can all cause LSD events. So this is uh, difficult to see. Maybe we have to go in another yeah, view. different view to, in order to mm. see where we are. Eh? Mm. Because I could be in the dissection test. You see, I think it's not the right... Uh, what do you think? This is the beginning. This one is uh, the OM1. But maybe we can leave it in the OM1 because we test. will need to have a wire in the OM1. Yeah, it's okay. It's we can okay. leave it here. Donnez-moi un deuxième. Un deuxième, toujours un BM ou tu veux euh, un run-through Ou un run-through, je Run-through, run-through. Tu l'as retiré. Oh, putain. It's okay, yeah. It, it advances easily, yeah. yeah, now. No, there is no problem here, but uh, the problem would be to cross and to place uh, the second wire in ins the... inside uh, the... You know, and to avoid uh, the dissection, that's... Uh, the difficulty is quite easy when you have a straight segment uh, in this kind of tortuosity when you want to, uh, you have to uh, re you know to rotate the wire uh, like a drilling to advance the wire yeah. through the tortuosity is very difficult to be sure that uh, you avoid uh, the dissected area that that's uh, the difficulty here now anyway we will try to it's okay here to advance the, the second wire oui. inside a... So difficult, huh? Here we are. Test. Okay, you yeah, are in the yeah, small yeah. branch. Good. That ah, means good. that you, if you are in the if small branch... If I am branch, the small branch, it's good. Now I, wa I will want to take the, the first one. The larger that, one. That's okay, that's correct. Okay. Here. okay. Okay, so now. Now, what's your next step? <laughs> we, <laughs> we come back to the beginning. Eh? Yes, but so give me a balloon. The balloon? Yeah, 2.5. Just to see if there is no. Donnez-moi un ballon, uh, ballon de 5. Uh, 9, 9, 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. Just to see if there is no resistance. You see, did with you, the. Did you use oh, no, the same, the the same uh, wire? N'importe quel ballon de 5. It's two yeah. runs through or it's filters? No, it, you have, in fact, in the first marginal, in the OM1, it's the uh, BMW wire. BMW, and, uh, okay. you know, with a lot of, uh, you know, a good surprise that it advanced quite nicely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And the second one is a run-through wire, and once okay. again, it seems to advance quite nicely. Maybe the support is, is different, and now it's, different. it's easier. Mm. Yeah. We have maybe more... Uh, um, I think that uh, the change of the guiding catheter uh, is very important, because it was the, the free 5 was... Definitely too too short, and uh, here we will see. Uh, here we have uh, still uh, some uh, urinal resistance here, um, due to the two wires, I think, and uh, the two wires are superimposed. We we'll try once more time. The balloon is not a new one. Okay, yes, here we are. Go on. Cross. A10. 14. It's a 2.5. Eh? We can go up down so go on here 14 18 20 mm. down yeah. okay so now what we down now what we can do it's to uh maybe we need a longer one eh? yeah yeah what is your you see, strategy we, uh, well, we take a longer longer step. we can see the Give dissection two, uh, 2 5 growing. yes yeah Give me a 2.5 by 18, 20 or 18. <laughs> 18 could be short, huh? We have a 12, so it was a 12. Just so. uh, you want to place two? 12 no, but let's see. Plus uh, something. Let's see what is uh, first. If oh, we give are me the 12 and then the, through this. No, no, we can try at 18. No problem, no problem, no problem. We can try the, the Give 18. me the 12. Oh, I think that's a new one, maybe. Have a, we never, uh, maybe. The 518. The 518. So in your strategy, you want to, you want to cover all the dissection? Oh yeah, I think we if need it. possible, yeah. What we want we is it. to avoid to come back twice, but... <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sorry, yeah, because it's 5.28 now, and uh, there will it, be a few times yeah, for discussion. We, we can, uh, we can run, run on the broadcast anyway, Jean, because it, it, yeah. it is a challenging but fascinating okay. case, and... Uh,
you know, an example of great skill in being able to cross uh, those lesions and get those wires into distal positions. I, I think yeah. that, that will be difficult for anybody. So try again. Uh, you no, see, no. Uh, my God, so difficult. So difficult. It's a longer stand too. Yeah. Oh, so, uh, so difficult, yeah. An encoring? I don't know. We can do an anchoring, but uh, again, my no. wire. When I feel the difficulty here, I will say that maybe, uh, you know, is too effectively to use, try the guideliner. Uh. Yeah, so if you put the balloon yeah. where, where you've had it, with the, you can bring the guideliner down guideliner over the down. balloon. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's the only way you'll get the guideliner to there. And yeah. if, it's, if it's close to the exit into the OM2, then you may yeah, be able to down, deliver yeah. the stem there. Yeah. yeah. So I have to try, I try to try again with uh, the wire, but I'm not sure that the wire is in the right channel now. It says, it this, is, one? Yeah, oh, this one? Yeah, yeah, some difficulties. Okay, here now I'm sure. Test. But I don't want to have a dissection distal, you see? Test. No, oh, it's, it's okay. okay. Yeah, the, the first marginal but, vessel is in good shape. But you, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But again, uh, what we like to, to see is to have a, a wire really distal. Because if I have not the wire in distal position, test should be difficult. So, what we can do is to place a balloon. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. I think it's uh, the most. Uh, a balloon where? On the second? On the IM1. And. Uh, if you want, yeah. Yeah. I would say you can use a 2.5 millimeter balloon. Yeah, 2.5 millimeter balloon. In the OM1 in OM1 and then uh, do and, uh, the We will the use this, yeah. And the anchoring. Uh, okay. Okay. The Sankers. This one is the OM1. Et tu me redonnes le stent. Après. Après. Okay, we will try to do this. Anchoring with the 2.5 in OM1. Yeah. And then advance on the side the 2.5 uh, stent in OM2. Ready? Ready? Negative. So difficult, oh. so difficult. <sighs> because now we have inflated the balloon through the struts and we have the difficulty now, of course. We could anticipate this. Prepare a balloon 9 to 215. This balloon was uh, used previously. Give me a balloon de 259. N'importe quel, mais rapidos. C'est bon? Tu tiens le balloon? Ouais. Okay, so we we tr we try to place a new balloon because this one was inflated several times before, mm. and we have a lot of difficulty to advance it. Okay, so we try one more time on this one. Sorry for that, eh? it's difficult. No, it's challenging. But uh, so challenging. Very very difficult. But this is uh, the, it's life, huh? so mm -hmm. so we try with a new balloon, negative. I hope that we could. Yes. You yes. see the difference oh, huh? yeah. when you have a okay. new uh, new device. It's better. Well, it's not perfect, huh? but uh, Take care. anyway, maybe it's the too. Wire. Yeah. Yeah. Try to advance a little bit uh, more distal the balloon. Difficult. What do you think? Yeah. Test. Uh, I think you crossed uh, by yeah, test. If it is enough, we can place a balloon here. Test. Not necessary to go more distal. Yeah, yeah it's, it's okay. No, okay. it's good. Go on. You want to advance the stent and we inflate at the because we. Yeah, but uh, I'm afraid to to lose the. Okay. You know the. The position. Look, look at the guiding again. Okay. 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 So I inflate now? Yeah, we can. At four? Or not it's, it's too, 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 too proximal. No, it's 
okay, okay, you can leave it here. Okay. You can take uh, high pressure. Okay, and now we inflate the stent on this one. Okay. You advance the stent on this one. This is the 18, huh? We try. It's a very clear demonstration of the difference in performance of a previously used and a fresh balloon, isn't mm. it? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, the difficulty, the wire, so we have to deflate certainly the... The balloon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I cannot advance the other one and look. Uh, oh my God, sorry, we cannot. You cannot advance the stand? No, 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 it's clear, it's, uh, it's block at that point, you uh, see. It's a curve, so probably with In the curve and the wire are twisted, certainly. No, it's no, it's uh, no, no, no. I push a lot, and uh, okay, it's so difficult. Oh my God! Please so, can I see it again? So difficult. Is you deflated? Yeah. yeah do you, yeah, do you have still do you still have your stent on your balloon? Yeah. I don't know. On the or is ah mm. yes okay. yeah yeah yeah. It's a no? Yes. I think so. Yeah. Uh, you see? Yeah. Yeah, it's here. We are we have the stent on now. But um so what do you think? Uh deflated maybe the balloon. Deflate the balloon. Yeah. It's deflated already. What it's we deflated, can do remove we, the balloon. Uh you remove yeah. first the stent and leaving the wire in place, yeah. no? Yeah. But, uh, and then uh, what to do? Now we have to take a decision to remove maybe this balloon. Okay. Uh, it's so difficult. You see, I cannot remove the balloon from. Oh my God. You see? Hmm. It's uh, you have a rupture of the balloon. Let's see. Yeah. You have the blood is coming. Yeah, a rupture of the balloon, of the stent. So okay, so you have uh, indirect to how to manage a complication when you lose. Okay, so what we can do is to remove from here to the. Okay. 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 No, 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 but uh, we can, with this balloon, remove the stand, you see? Mm -mm -mm. Okay, here yeah. we are now on. I think so. Oh. Bon, et là, celui-là, il faut le retirer aussi. Hein? Yeah. This one is... Ah, you see the... the... The stand is going down. Yeah, but I cannot remove the... 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 Okay, here. Il faut accompagner là, le, le bras. Suis. Ça va être difficile aussi. Il faut bouger la table. Vas-y. OK. OK, perfect. Thank you. OK. Good. On continue. OK. Voilà, là, on l'a là, on l'a pas, on l'a largué. I cannot no. see it. Huh? No. Stand is here. Yeah. Okay. We can we continue here. The problem is the other balloon. Very difficult. It, it may be I better. I cannot remove the other one. You can't remove the other one, no. No, no, that's a problem. I cannot remove the other one. So the, the two the two balloons must be interacting with each mm. other. There. Yeah, 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 twist yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Here we have the balloon inside the stent okay, okay no problem but okay here now we have to look if we can we have to move the Marcus well yeah, you yeah, gotta yeah. okay move the the C arm yeah okay okay and now we will uh, okay. continue to see the Okay, here. This one. Eh? Okay. 
You have to see where is the stand. Okay. He's up. He's up. Yeah, we see. Yeah, you see you are in now. Here. Okay, here. Okay. So now, if we can remove the other one, I cannot. Everything is going down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, two possibilities to open it, but uh, it's not the right no, way. No, because the balloon is... No, 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 it's not the right way. Um, Will both balloons come back at the same time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy can pull the two balloons at the same time here, like that. But I lost, I, I lost the stent, I think. You see, one more time. The stent is, in, is on? I think so. Yeah. You are in... And now we'll be uh, inside uh, the sheath. The tube. Inside the tube. Okay. I continue to remove it. And I hope that I will get in the connector. Where are the... Wires? Yeah, 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 but I need the two wires. Okay, here. Yeah. Okay, good. Now I pull back, open the, the valve. Je suis pas sûr de. Là, je suis. Non, non, je le vois pas. Okay, we have it. I will show you. Excellent. Okay. Okay. So, uh, donnez-nous le. On peut centrer, s'il vous plaît. Zoomer, s'il vous plaît. Sur la. Zoomer, s'il vous plaît. Sur la, la compresse. Sur la compresse. Non, zoomer sur la compresse. Ça ne zoome pas. Là. Vous n'avez pas la bonne caméra. C'est la caméra d'en face, s'il vous plaît. Zoomer avec la caméra d'en face, Made in Box. Hein. Non, non, vous... voilà, c'est ceci qu'il faut zoomer, s'il vous plaît. Zoomer en grand. Non, mais. Zoomer. Zoomer à fond, s'il vous plaît. Hmm. You see the stand? Yeah, we can It's see. Completely destroyed. Completely destroyed. Bon. The good news is on the stent is on the Now we can normally balloon. remove the balloon. Now we can remove the both balloon. And uh, so now we have to mettez-vous droit on on bon. to droit. So now we take a view and uh, but I think it's uh, 5:40 so maybe uh, uh, we Bruno we will continue you. but I don't know if uh, we have the possibility to continue live. Il faut le mettre droit, ça, la table. C'est bon. I don't know. Yeah, we, we can What carry on with this. Have... I don't know, I don't know. It's uh, as to uh, Magali. No, the wire is out, uh, so no problem. We can remove the wire. So what yeah. I, what I, I suggest know. we do for a little while here, Jean, is we, we'll cut the broadcast to the lab while we do we discuss some of the issues that have come up during yeah. the case. Okay. And, then, and then we will come back to you and see what you've decided okay. to do and where you're up to. Okay, we continue. We can continue live. So the good news is that uh, Everything is we have a Timmy free flow on both. Yeah. Mm. Uh, now what we need to do is to look at uh, in LAO to see at the bifurcation. How is it here? I mean that. It's not too bad. Yeah. I mean, although uh, it's. In other words, what we have to do is to replace a wire yeah. in the first yeah. OM, uh, recross the second one, maybe first post delete it, do yeah. a, a, a second port. Uh, and then advance wire in the second OM and try to redo what we have done. But uh, we can see uh, it will take time. Yeah. This yeah. is the plan. So if we want to discuss, we can follow what we are doing on the screen. Oh, well. Yeah, it's up to you. Mm -hmm. BM, you so we'll, we'll just give you 10 or 15 minutes to uh, okay. to progress with that. And, and okay. so we'll, 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 uh, we'll, we'll chat about some of the issues that have come up during the case. Okay. Um, and some of the issues around bleeding risk management and uh, okay. and then we'll, we'll come back to you in a little while. We'll let yeah. you know when we're coming back. Um, okay.
Can we have the, the slides back up there? So we have some questions here. How, how do you assess bleeding risk? Any score that you prefer? So there have been multiple bleeding risk scores in the literature, but uh, my recommendation is to use the ARC bleeding risk score from the circulation paper. So if we go, if we have the slides up from the beginning, please. From the very first uh, uh, set, from the very first slide, yeah. Okay, so here um, we'll just look at bleeding risk uh, calculations. So yeah, so the the bleeding risk score I would recommend is the ARC definition of bleeding risk, which is that if you're you have a greater than four percent risk of in, of a, of a bleed or a greater than one percent risk of intracranial hemorrhage, then you are at high risk. And the, and and you calculate the score using the um, methods outlined in this circulation paper from 2019, and these are the factors that we discussed before. The patient today, the major um, factor of uh, increasing the bleeding risk was the age, so age over 75 is, is a way to do it. And high bleeding risk patients are defined as patients who have one major criteria or two minor criteria. Um, and so age is a minor criteria, advanced renal disease is a major criteria, liver disease, all the things that we discussed before um, uh, as a way of calculating bleeding risk. Do you want to comment on that about calculation of bleeding risks? And no, it's it, it's always uh, quite um, attempts are quite uh, natural. It's uh, daily practice, yeah. and we have to think about that uh, yeah. in each uh, angioplasty, in each procedure, and uh, it's. Uh, yeah. We need scores, but we need uh, also uh, uh, clinical uh, advice, and uh, yeah. and uh, it depends of each patient. Yeah, I mean, scores just put a numerical value on, yeah, yeah, on, yeah, on yeah, your own yeah, clinical yeah. assessment of the patient, I think. And um, yeah, the problem with the scores is that many of our patients are over 75, so mm. they're all, by yeah. definition, high bleeding risk. Um, so looking, you know, thinking about angioplasty in patients who are at increased bleeding risk, femoral access has uh, an increased risk profile in these patients. For sure, for um, sure. So I think there's no doubt based on extensive randomized and observational data that radial access is the site of choice. One thing to bear in mind, and I think we've seen that today, is that older age is associated with radial access procedural complexity, particularly the incidence of anatomical variation in the radial artery rises with age and the incidence of subclavian tortuosity rises with age. But Do you have any comments about in, that? In, in that particular case, I don't think it's uh, a radial access uh, no. issue. There, there was no uh, issues. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a uh, support. Yep. But you, in this case, you don't have more support in femoral access, no, I don't think. No, absolutely no. Yeah. So, you know, sometimes people who are committed femoral operators will maintain that guiding catheter performance is compromised for radial cases, but it isn't. It's a matter of selecting the right guiding mm -hmm. catheter. But I think there's no doubt that, you know, patients, when a patient comes into my cath lab who is over 85, I always say stop go to the left radial, okay, yeah. rather than the yeah. right radial, because yeah. anatomical variation in the forearm is less frequent in the left arm, so and subclavian tortuosity. Yeah. Yeah. Some calcification, and yeah. you have some problem to uh, yeah. to access to the... Yeah, I, yeah. I totally agree with you. So, you totally know, agree. selective use of left radial access is an important way of managing anatomical variation in the older patient uh, group. Another thing to bear in mind is that, you know, small, um, older ladies have small caliber vessels and they may not tolerate large catheter guides, large caliber guides. So um, downsizing your, your, your sheath with the glide sheath slender system, which in which a, um, a uh, introduces sheath with a six French internal lumen yeah. has an external five yes. French yes, diameter. Yes, yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, it it, it uh, seems strange that you can achieve that, but, <laughs> but that is the reality. Yeah, um, thinner. Yeah. yeah. So it's a, it's due to the thin wall of the yes, yes. Uh, of the glide sheet slender. So we routinely use and the glide sheet slender. You can have six, seven, uh, seven French with in a six. A, in a six. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you know, using the uh, the downsized um, access sheets will increase the range of patients who are suitable for angioplasty via the radial artery. And with contemporary practice and techniques and equipment, there shouldn't be any procedural limitations for the radial operator. Another thing about um, uh, 
high bleeding risk patients is to use abbreviated double antiplatelet therapy. And in leaders, Zeus and senior, abbreviated p courses of double antiplatelet therapy of one to six months were shown to be safe and as and as good as more prolonged ones, but with mm -hmm. less bleeding risk. And I ha I have to admit, however, that you know, in a patient like the one today with very complex anatomy, difficult procedure, multi vessels, I I wouldn't be abbreviating the double antiplatelet therapy for this patient today. Yeah, it. Uh, how many times do you use for this uh, this patient? Well, not for this patient. <laughs> <laughs> However, you know, if you had a person um, in their 80s, maybe if they had another major criteria for yeah. high bleeding risk, like a low platelet count, low hemoglobin, whatever it was, I I, I would definitely try to to uh, if it was a straightforward angioplasty mm. to do a month's double antiplatelet therapy. Yeah. Can you do radial access in all? I mean, in the institution here, do you know what the radial access penetration rate is for your cases? The penetration? Yeah, ha what proportion of the cases are done radially? Oh, here? Um, it, 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 it depends, but uh, uh, most of the time, I think maybe 80%, 85 Right. Uh, it it depends. If, if you have the, the diagnosti diagnostic with a, a very tortuosity very yeah. or painful mm -hmm. uh, access and uh, calcified and uh, you need more support or more uh, uh, a, a very good access yeah uh, i will prefer femoral access okay. quicker yeah. safer and i will use at the end uh, a closer device yeah okay so we, in our institution we have 11 operators and 10 of the operators do 95 percent of their cases radially and one operator is probably 50 50. now th this is my own personal data so in the uk we have to submit details of every case mm -hmm. to the Interventional Society. Mm -hmm. It's collated centrally and it's then published on an open access uh, Interventional Society website. Um, and uh, you can see there that my own personal radial rate for that year was 100%. Now that, that is unusual. I, it's I, your... <laughs> I, I wouldn't expect that to be repeated, but certainly 95%, good, I good, think. So. so we're going to go back to the catheter lab and uh, catch up with the case now. So Jean, we're back with you, Jean. Yeah. Brunner. So, uh, so yeah. I will show you what uh, what we have done. We have done some progress. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Good. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was uh, well, you know when sometimes when you start with a uh, uh, new balls, it's uh, <laughs> it's better. So uh, finally, we place uh, so two. Uh, sorry, here. This was the beginning. Yeah. Uh, we place the first uh, wire inside uh, the, the the digital circumflex. Then uh, we, did you pass your guide you, wire you easily? See, look, or? The second wire easy, yeah. easily. Look easy, yeah. easily. And you see that place the second wire in the OM1, and you see the easily you, uh, we could cross with the stent. It's uh, weird because you, you don't have any difficulty no. to to to. No, uh, no, no. It was with, uh, with really your support. Easy. It's so we place the second balloon. Uh, we opened the. Uh, this was a test. We opened the. Uh, this was too proximal. Here we opened uh, the, 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 the. 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 Deliver the stent. And did, uh, we did a kissing. And now we are at that point here. Uh, so we will do the kissing balloon here. Yeah. You, you agree? We take one more yeah. time. Six, six. Okay. Six, we don't need six, to go eight, to high well, we can go. We can okay. take that's okay here. Maybe I will have to pull back the the balloon yeah. of the stand. So I think it's a okay. A little yeah? bit inside here. Go on. Wow. One more time. I will. I will be more comfortable eh, to. When you see the passage of that stand yeah. so easily, there it does make you think. Yeah, maybe, yeah, 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 yeah. maybe the original wires were Stop. behind. Yes, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's a so what I'm thinking. Yeah, but now we yeah. have a dissection. Not, this all we it know was that. completely yeah. easy to, to <laughs> deploy that one, wasn't you it? You pass the stand so very easily. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, it's a matter of uh, you know to take the wire, uh, place the wire in the right threads to. Uh, there is some dike you know, contrast. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There is but we have to, to, yeah. yeah. Let's see because so what you can do is to remove the, the leave the, the wire the two wire in place, yeah. remove the two balloons and see what's the result. Yeah. And now take a view of that. 
Okay, it is so, okay. And uh, now what we need is to place a second but, stand. But mm. maybe you have to replace your wire. The problem is that the wire in the small branch. Yeah, we will do it. You have to replace. Two possibilities, to, to take a second wire or to take this one. What but anyway, now the, the situation is better. Yeah. So I can uh, pull back. Okay, here. like this. Perfect. Okay, here we are. Okay. And maybe advance then take a 12 a or something like this. You can take a view of that. Yeah. And then we advance a 12 or 15 millimeter stent in addition. No, ah. madame. Okay. No. Sorry. Pousse le bras. Don't annulate the bras, s'il vous plaît. Coucou, madame Labrousse. C'est presque fini. Okay. Okay, we did. We do it. Vas-y. Yeah, I think we need a 12 or something. 12 or 15. 5, 12 or, yeah. or 15. 15. That's you. 15. Give me a 15. The 515. The 515. Already that uh, OM2 distal to the stent looks better, doesn't it? Just from the yeah, wire yeah. passage. Yeah. Yeah. It splinted the dissection. It changed the... Yeah. The, the, uh, the morphology yeah, that's of that segment, the anatomy. angulation. Yeah. 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 I will show you one more time the, the result. But you see now the, well, the situation is better. Yeah. <laughs> but again, the, the, what we had to do is to remove everything and start from the beginning again. Yeah. In other words, place a new guiding catheter, 3.75, place two wires, and then it was so easy to, uh, to advance the... I mean, the the, I'm not exactly sure what happened with the stent that stripped from the balloon. It may have been the, the wires were twisted or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. Because it, it was a very unusual situation to uh, to encounter yes. that problem there. <laughs> sure. And I think it was twisted. And you see, look at the stand. Yeah, look, I mean, it's, it's to very uh, easy. It's, it's to totally it. different, yeah. isn't it? So. It's another there's, story. There's, it's not the same patient. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, we want to place here. Uh, maybe we can do a stand vis or yeah, something. Yeah, we can do a stand vis. Just to be sure that we are. Okay. Stand vis. Can we do it? Okay. Probably. Uh, no, ça marche okay. pas. Ça, ça va, ça l'a pas fait. Stand this. C'est bon. Okay. On peut y aller. Okay, it is good. Maybe we can, yeah, pull back a few minutes. What do you think? No, it's okay. We are just at the edge. No, okay. Just at the edge is okay. okay huh? You can okay. deliver it. Okay. Perfect. Good. A little bit more proximal in order to do the, the junction of the two stands. Okay. Here it's okay. Take 18. Can take 20. Okay, very good. Down. Okay, and now... Uh, we I think it's okay. We have done already the kissing. We yeah. are down to the bifurcation. We what we can do is to do to finish by the final part, Pots, proximally, yeah. Why not? with a short millimeter balloon, yeah. Because we have done a lot of yeah, work yeah, inside yeah. this uh, proximal mm. stand. Mm. And maybe it's a good, uh, good idea to finish by a pot. Yeah, I think so. Go no on, on, really? Picture? Go on. Sorry, I don't have any... No, problem. no, no problem. Okay. During no. this time, I will advance the, the wire. Okay, really? Okay. I think it's okay. It's okay, yeah? Good. Yeah. We are still some diet, but it's okay because... Yeah, it's up top of the stem. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, it's yeah. okay. The and the, the flow is good. Fixed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fixed, yeah. I mean, that, so what that, you can that do dye must be within part. the layers of the yeah. dissection and is now trapped mm -hmm. behind the stem, so that's not going to clear. With a free zero. And we don't lose so the... So we can remove this circle. one. No. So it's good. We can do the pot on this one, on the other one, whatever. It should be proximal to the bifurcation, so it could be on this wire. So this one will be a free zero.
ready? To answer a, qu a question from the audience, the webinar will be online after live, no problem. Yeah. Test. So it should be proximal Tomorrow. to yeah. the bifurcation. Oh, it's okay. Huh? It's okay here? Yeah. Okay, go on. No, it's okay. You are proximal okay. to yeah. the bifurcation. Okay. And here we can do use the uh, 20. 20 atmospheres. Excellent. Test. If it is okay, I think we can remove everything. Yeah. Test. I think it's okay. Correct. Yeah. So we remove everything. Nitroglycerine, final nitro, and then we will uh, we'll have, take we'll the final view. Inject. Yeah. Okay. Okay, ready? Okay. La trinitrine? On avait fait juste avant le... Ok, go on. Oh, it's nice, huh? very nice Very result. good result. Ok. Fantastic. So, Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> congratulations. Sweat, for... sweat, sweat. Yes. <laughs> you did incredibly well to uh, to uh, to do that. It was a very challenging okay. case, and uh, you yeah. know, and the the problems you were presented with, with Sorry. the guide catheter performance, with the yeah. wire placement, with the stent dislocation for some strange reason. Very you know, good. you, yeah, you yeah, overcome so them all, and you've uh, you've got a fantastic looking result there. So, uh, congratulations, and thanks from the studio Thank here. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so we're 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 going to close out here. Um, the case is, uh, is the, there is still an <laughs> LAD lesion to treat, but I don't think uh, that, that's, that's likely to be done today. Non, 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 je me de ça. And um, we we'll just mention a few things: overcome, overcoming challenges of radial access in high bleeding risk patients. So. You know, as as came up early in the discussion, distal radial can be an option. Um, uh, optimized puncture techniques, so you have to be able to puncture these arteries. Downsized slender sheets are really important, and I strongly recommend them. They're in routine use in our lab. I routinely use arm angiography. It wasn't necessary in this case, and for very experienced operators, I don't think it's necessary. But if you're earlier in your learning curve, shooting an arm angiogram will alert you to loops mm. and tortuosity segments. If you have any trouble, any resistance... Then that's the... Yeah. So, you know, if you're further on, I think it's entirely appropriate to not do an arm angiogram, but earlier on, I would shoot it in everyone. Optimized drug therapy, I don't know how you feel about that. I mean, we rout I routinely give a vasodilator cocktail at the beginning with some Verapamil and uh, GTN. We use uh, Isoptin. Isop uh, Verapamil. I yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. For everybody. For everybody. Yeah, okay. So, you know, again, some uh, some operators will defer using that unless there's a problem with spasm or mm. some difficulty with uh, manipulating equipment. But I, I recommend using a vasodilator cocktail at the beginning for everyone to minimize the risk of spasm. Yeah. Balloon assisted tracking and pigtail assisted tracking. Are you, do you use balloon tracking very much? No. Yeah, I mean, we, we use it quite a lot. So if you have tortuosity or a small diameter loop, you can deploy an angioplasty wire up the yeah. vessel. You then inflate, uh, you then insert a um, balloon through your guide catheter. Mm. You deploy it halfway out at the end of the vessel and inflate mm -hmm. it, and that smooths the transition from the wire into the guide. And you can easily track around loops or through tortuous okay. segments. Pigtail-assisted tracking is a version of that. If you have an 035 wire that's in situ in the proximal uh, into the aorta, um, and you're worried about tracking a six French mm -hmm. guide, if you put a five French pigtail inside it, it will poke out the end of the guide, and it will do the same thing. It will smooth the transition. Sheathless approach is a way of using uh, larger diameter guides in small vessels. I mean, you have to really be familiar with the approach. It's not something that I use frequently. Mammoth in our center has done a lot of sheathless cases, but it is a little bit uh, um, technically challenging, and I wouldn't routinely recommend it. And, of course, at the end, you have to do the hemostasis properly with patent hemostasis. Um, do you use a manual compression for yeah, radial access or, uh, yeah. or we, TR we, bond? We, or? we use a... Um, uh, a different device. We use the TR band in yeah. some cases, and we also use a, a different uh, device with a rotating bezel. Yeah, okay. and, and our nurses will then use the oximeter okay. and check for uh, patent hemostasis. And I see very little radial artery occlusion these days with with those kind of uh, approaches. So there are many different technical issues to 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 consider, really. 
So I will just bring your attention to the upcoming webinar in Massey on September the 17th and the one from Paris on December the 12th. And we'll end today with uh, thanks to uh, Tarumo for the unrestricted educational grant. I hope you found it an interesting and useful case. Thank you. Thank you.